Hey guys, welcome back to this week's episode. If you caught my episode last week where I talked about the top 10 most dangerous cities to live in in the state of Washington, then you're definitely gonna wanna check this video out because as I said, it's not all bad, okay? So in this week's episode, I'm gonna talk to you about the five best, most safest cities to live in so that you can compare with what I sent out last week. So again, as always, drop it down in the comments if you agree or disagree, or if you think maybe I missed a city. So let me know. Stay tuned for this week's episode. Am I awake or am I dreaming? All right, guys, so I have my iPad of notes here where I detail the top five safest cities to live in the state of Washington. So we're gonna stop, uh, start with number five, which is the last on the list, and that's Kalama. Kalama, Kalama, to be honest, I have no idea how to pronounce it, never been there. Um, and that's probably why it's one of the safer ones. Does anyone know about Kalama, Kalama? Okay, but Kalama, it's actually um, just south of Longview, which I was one of the cities I talked about last week. Um, obviously, it's got the beautiful Columbia River just, you know, right there on the banks of it. And it's quiet, it's considered to be safe living. And the town is actually known for being the home to, t to one of the tallest totem poles in the world, 140 feet tall. So, okay, I guess I understand why it's considered one of the safest cities in the, in the state of Washington. So, number four, and that would be the city of Colfax. Again, haven't been to that city. Colfax, just north of Pullman, okay, so we're talking about eastern Washington here. It's by the rolling hills of the Palouse, okay? The town has about 2,800 um, residents, so it's obviously not that big. Because it's not very big, it has a really low crime rate, okay? Um, it's just north of Pullman, so this is eastern Washington, if you're familiar. Very different from Seattle. Um, you know, Pullman is obviously known for where it is in the state of Washington. In Colfax, it's just north of it really close to the hills of Palouse, okay? So the town has about 2,800 residents, so obviously it's not a very big town, and as such, it has a relatively low uh, crime rate. It also um, is known to have some of the most historical buildings in that town, so it's got a lot of history, a lot of culture right there. Again, if you like that kind of thing, definitely check out Colfax. All right, number three would be the city of Everson. Okay, so Everson has about 2,500 residents. Again, not very big. Colfax had, you know, 300 more residents. Honestly, these are, we're talking small cities here. So if you like small city living and you want a safe city, you probably want to check out Everson. Um, you know, definitely small town living, as I said, not a lot to worry about, not a lot going on. Um, you can find a lot of serene, you know, activities there. It's, you know, little town out in Northwestern Washington the foothills of the Cascades. Cascades, beautiful mountain range. So, hey, if you like nature and some, you know, more quiet, slow paced life, then definitely check out the city of Everson. All right, the second one, which I've definitely been to before, would be the city of Duval. Um, you know, Duval, it's pretty close to Seattle. You can definitely access it. Um, it's located halfway between Carnation and Monroe, if you know where that is on the map. Duval, it's another great place to live. I've had a lot of friends who grew up there. Um, and it is in King County, so it is still pretty close to Seattle. The crime rate in Duval is pretty low. Um, you know, it's got a town of about 8,000 people, so for that being said, it is, crime rate's really low. And then the number one safest city in the state of Washington to live in would be the city of Carnation. Have yet to go there, but I've heard great things. You know, it's, it's another small town in King County. It's not far from Fall City or Snohomish, so you can definitely get out that way um, if you're close to Seattle. And it only has 2,000 residents, so it's pretty small, and as such, it has a really low crime rate. Um, it's almost non-existent, in fact. There's, a, there's virtually no crime there in the city of Carnation. Uh, it's a very quiet community, relaxing place to live, and so if that's your style, you're definitely gonna wanna check out the city of Carnation. So guys, that wraps up this week's really quick uh, video in regards to the top five safest cities to live in in the state of Washington. Let me know once again in the comments if you agree or disagree with any of these cities or if you think I missed one. I'd love to hear what you think. Hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more videos just like this. Thanks guys, I'll catch you in the next video. You're like a circle that floats around